What's up guys? So you want to get the old and gold game to the right video, man. If you're interested in any of my other gold guides for Modern Warfare, click the card on the top right, which shows you a playlist of everything else I've done for Modern Warfare so far. And also consider subscribing if you want any other Modern Warfare guides. I even post gameplay and funny moments about this game. Like every gun, I'd say the best tip to getting the camos is just leveling up first, then having to worry for each camo as you go along, because you'll be working towards one camo, but you get it towards the other. So you're better off playing for the levels first and then the camos. The best game ones I found for this gun would be the Hardcore playlist, either Team Deathmatch, Domination, or Headquarters. I personally like Headquarters, then the three of them, and seem to work the best for me. The first camo category you're going to need to unlock is Spray Paint. You need 800 kills. This is a very passive one. As you're doing everything else, you're going to get 800 kills. So any old kill work, doesn't matter the attachments, game mode, or anything. Just get a kill with the gun, and it works. It can even be an enemy's gun. Then we have Woodland. For Woodland, you're going to need 125 headshots. Best game mode for this would be Hardcore. I like to do the headquarters. Something like that will do. You just got to get the headshot and it counts towards it. For Digital, you're going to need 160 crouch kills. This one is also pretty much a passive one because people just crouch and they'll end up getting kills over time for this. Best game mode again would be one of the Hardcore game modes. As long as you crouch, get a kill. It works. Then we have Dragon. For Dragon, you're going to need 75 Pitfire kills. I have a gun set up for this to help improve this if you're needing to focus on this. The muzzle. I have the monolithic suppressor. So you increase the range in case he's far away, but you do hit him with the hit fire. Five milliwatt laser. So you have a reduced spread. And then Merc foregrip, again, for reduced spread. Then the 30 round mag, so you can just keep on shooting and not have to worry so much. Then a stipple grip tape, so you can go from spin to fire faster if you're running around and you have to shoot real quick. It speeds up that process. So something like this will do. That counts as two for it. Then we have Splinter. For Splinter, you're going to need 100 long shot kills. I also have a gun set up for this. If you want for the muzzle, I got the monolithic suppressor. Increased range. The Odin Factory 810 barrel for increased range. Variable zoom scope. But again, optics are just preference because they're not going to be extremely far away, but I just personally like the variable zoom scope. Then for the under barrel, I have the Commando Foregrip to decrease the recoil without ADS being any penalties. And then a 30 round mag so you can just keep shooting. So something like this will work. It's something far away. Good kill, and you'll see the long shot notification pop up just right of your crosshairs. Then we have Topo for Topo, you're gonna need 100 mounted kills. Again, hardcore game modes work best for this gun in every single category, pretty much. So as long as you melt down, get a kill, it counts. Then we have Tiger for Tiger, you're gonna need 180 kills with all attachments on. You could go into the core game modes if you're comfortable with that, but I like the hardcore game modes, it seems to work faster for this. What I use for this is the Odin Factory 420 barrel, faster ADS speed. Then the attack laser, so you can have faster ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Come out of foregrip, four decreased recoil without having any ADS speed penalty. 30 round mag, so you can just keep shooting. Then the stipple grip tape to go to sprint to fire quicker. Any old kill will do as long as you have five attachments. Then we have stripes. For stripes, you're gonna need 50 kills after reloading. The only perk that will really help for this would be slide of hand, just so you can reload a little quicker. You're gonna need to situate yourself more for this category as it gets kind of annoying and timing is a bit hard to do at first. So as long as you reload, within two seconds, if you get a kill, it counts towards it. Then we have Reptile. For Reptile, you're gonna need 110 kills with no attachments. This one definitely is good for hardcore. You're gonna be at a disadvantage if you play core using this gun and without attachments. Then you go in hardcore, still one hit kill. Lastly, for Skulls, you're gonna need to get 35 three gun kill streaks in a row. That's not saying triple kills. As long as you get three kills, they can even be spaced out. It counts towards it as one. Something like this will work. One, two, three, and then that counts towards one out of 35. And that's the end of the guide for how to gold the Yildin Modern Warfare. If you found it helpful, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. And if I missed anything, or if an update later on changes this, go ahead and leave in the comments, help someone out. Maybe even subscribe if you like my content. You want to see more guides? There you go. I also post gameplays and funny moments. Running and gunning our front as they humming. We come on with something. Keep ducking in puppy. You know you was front. You plundered the game. So now we back. We take an aim. The lane is changed. Who lames the same? You blame the fame. Complain but play the same. It's the same shit. The same tame for fame. Shit forgot about why you did it. Shit or who you even came with. So play me all your lame hits. Fiction. Top the playlist. Can't believe we finally made it. Not bad for.